It is a rivalry that needs no introduction. Packs the arm. He'll throw it toward the end zone. He's got P.K. Sam. Open. He makes the catch. Yeah. Touchdown official. Here's the snap. Hand off to press it. Press it. 3-2-1. Touchdown. 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 Can you believe it? This Florida and Florida State, and, you know, it don't get no bigger than this. And, you know, this is the games that you come to Florida State for. And it's the game that I can't afford to stay for. Just playing games like this, big time games, and you know, it's gonna be a good time competing out there. So I'm ready. I just respect the rivalry. I really do. I respect the rivalry and what they and they've been accomplished, what we've accomplished, and just fortunate to be able to coach. And I've been in some great ones, and this is one of the best ones ever. When Florida State and Florida play, players understand the history of the rivalry because many current Seminoles grew up watching this game themselves. Growing up in Alabama, I mean, I, I'm a, growing up. I remember. Wanted to watch the uh, Florida, Florida State game and rather than the Auburn, Alabama game a lot of times growing up. And uh, just knowing the history of the people that played in the game, did well, made plays, made names for themselves in the game. I and mean, it's really, it's really, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, like Coach say, this is why we come here. And, you know, dating back to like being a younger, young, younger kid, always watch this game, you know what I'm saying, from year after year. And those who didn't? learned quickly. I mean, it's big, you know, like when I first got here, I kind of wasn't accustomed to it as much, but, you know, being here the past few years, but playing down there and them coming up here and it's, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty awesome rivalry. It's just like marked on the calendar. It's just like an unmarked date on the calendar, but everybody know, you know, if you, it don't matter what your record is during the season, it don't matter what their record is, that week you gotta come to play in because it's, it's just a big rivalry like that. Whether they watched or not, the Seminoles love and respect this game and the opportunity it presents. I remember in my first year, uh, the year we won the championship, we were just like running out on the field, like wow, man, you Jimmy playing into playing games like this, just watching them on TV, growing up as a kid and actually being able to participate in it, it's just. It's kind of surreal at some point, and then you just know you got to be ready to play and have all your emotions in check and you know, the ball kick off. I was always brought up like big players will make big plays at the right time, and you know, I just want to go out there and I try to make the big plays for my team at the right time, and you know, the club's in the best predicament to win, and you know, so I just go out there and I just try to compete on the highest level I can. Perhaps a new name will emerge on Saturday as the Seminoles and Gators play for the 60th time. And if it does, there's a good chance that name will never be forgotten. LaneHurtSeminoles.com Warwick's got a third down! Unbelievable!